same a peg at this point and then there is a force here has magnitude of 800 newton and it makes an angle of <coughs> 35 degrees and the, qu the question is to express the force F and Cartesian vector force. Or what we're saying is that we want to write this force as F X I plus F Y T. That's the form, which is the Cartesian vector form. Now we need this, we need this. So <coughs> we redraw this diagram. Okay, I'm gonna take this as positive x, this is positive y origin. We got the force as 800 Newton. Then this angle being 35. We draw the line line at the point and this is going to become the x component and this arrow is going to represent the y component then from this triangle you have fx it simply should be 800 cosine 35 it's in negative x direction. You attach a negative. Then you have f y that 800 sine 45. It's in the positive direction. You keep this as positive. And these numbers here it's going to come out to be as 6 55 newton. It's going to come out to be 4 59 newton or your force f is going to be negative 655 five newton times i and then we got the second force 459 newton times the change. This is the same thing we had before. The force was in second quadrant. You have a negative here and then that is a positive on um, the y axis. Now there is uh, other inverse problem. Sir? The bottom F R is on the side. Oh, now there is an uh, inverse problem that he has given. <coughs> Uh, f x and f y. See, so far we had the force 